Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and today I've got another video for you guys of another Halloween inflatable. Now, you guys may remember I used to have this one, and I still have the bottom to it, but thanks to uh, Chase, I now have this guy again that I've been looking for. So this is the 2007 One World Globe with the ghost on top. Um, again, you guys know I used to have this one. And I got that one brand new in the box for five bucks from a family friend. So, I mean, this one definitely has been used. Not in bad condition. I don't know where Chase got this from, but yeah. So there's the box. And then it actually still has the instructions on the inside. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess the people he got this off of smoked because it, when he opened it, it smelled like cigarettes. It still has that little, little touch. Not, it's not really strong. Um, so I've been spraying it with Febreze and stuff, trying to, you know, soak the smell out of it. Uh, now I will say real quick, the globe inflates perfect. Um, the bottom is perfect. The bats go around perfectly. Uh, really the only issue, and this is exactly what happened with my first one, is the ghost on top is thin. Now, what happened was the material in between the ghost and the globe was ripped, so a bunch of the bats was up in the ghost. So what happened was, I took the bats out of the ghost, put them back in the globe, and then I just duct taped over that hole, um, just, you know, just so it was shut. Um, because there's a pipe going up the back, uh, back of the globe to the ghost. Um, so this thing inflated a little bit better when Chase had it because he didn't tape that hole. So there's more airflow to it. Um, so for the video, I have a cheap fan in the zipper of the ghost just so, you know, it stands up. Um, other than that, I'm happy that I got this off of him. So again, shout out to Chase. Um, so yeah, uh, the Wind World Globe thing, or a fan on this thing is orange. My guess is from the smoke, you know, cause when, you know, smokers have white ceiling or whatever, it turns yellow, orange, yellow, you know? So, uh, yeah, I guess without further ado, I will flip the switch and plug the little cheap fan in. So this guy stands up. Um, and honestly, this is how I might do it, uh, when I put it out, but eventually I'd love to flex seal the ghost, that way the full thing properly works. So yeah, without further ado. So even with this cheap fan, the ghost sags a little bit, but it helps them kind of stand up. And I'm, I might take the lights out of the ghost and put an LED in there, you know, just so he works or stands up. See you guys. Uh, there it is. Can't really get the full thing because of the dang camera. Well, there you go. See you guys. There it is. Another Jimmy classic. I am so thankful to have again. Um, so yeah, not really much else to say about this thing. The inside is still fine. The skull and the tombstone are fine. Uh... There's no really thin spots on the globe that I felt. It's mainly on the ghost. So, uh, here, actually, I want to try something real quick before I end the video. I'm going to detach the lights just to see if the weight helps them stand up.
Sorry guys, I didn't expect it to take this dang long. lights like that because I know the heat will uh, wear this thing out even more. I was just curious if that would help at all. Actually, the way I might fix this, I might cut him off to flex seal him and then uh, add him back on because there's, you can see he's standing much better. But um, I don't know. Same deal as the one cat, the pumpkin. I uh, might use it a year just to see what it does. But uh, see you guys. Thanks for watching and peace out.